i mm. heard learned in that so mm. when they feel lonely or when they want to share you can write a poem uh, some of the ch- yeah great great hi is, oh my acharya has joined greetings 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 uh Achara, we are having tomorrow a small gathering, you know, uh, for this Manishatvam with Rupali and all, you know, just. I wish you were all here, <laughs> but yes, we cannot have uh, in Hyderabad. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Anyway, let us, uh, uh, let me play this video for you. Uh,
Well, welcome to the poetic reading with Feta Benz, a poet, place where poets will gather to share their minds. Uh, let me, uh, today, I mean, let me begin with a short, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, I got this, uh, these lines and I, I think I wish, I wish I would like to read it, you know, before, before going and beginning the show, uh, you would understand what it is. Think of others. As you prepare your breakfast, think of others. Within brackets, do not forget the peas and food. Bracket close. As you raise your walls, think of others. Do not forget those who seek peace. As you pay your water bill, think of others. Those who are nursed by clouds. As you return home, to your home, think of others. Do not forget the people of camps. As you sleep and count the stars, think of others, those who have nowhere to sleep. As you express yourself in the metaphor, think of others, those who have lost the right to speak. As you think of others far away, think of yourself. Say, if only I were a candle in the dark, if, I, if only I were a candle in the dark. That was, you know, you could you know, understand what this context is about. So let us begin with uh, our regular, I mean, it's like uh, a mainstay of the Fatal Brains and he's a so great supporter and, uh, uh, you know, the beautiful writer and engineer uh, by profession. So please welcome Richard Spisak. Thank you, my friends. <clears throat> and always, as always, an honor to be here with you. Uh, my soul, my heart flies on your beautiful, truthful words that you share so much of your heart is, is just an amazing thing. Thank you. So here we go. Here's a couple little pieces for you. Um, I hope this brings you a smile. This first one is uh, something of a tribute to the wonderful Taoist philosopher Lao Tzu. Uh, I call this Lao Tzu really knew. Lao Tzu really knew. He'd really try just to serve you. He must be a lower, modest mouse, never aim to have a bigger house, not to try to carry vasty coin, not encumbered, not annoyed. He seeks through service his advantage. He never needs to drive a racy carriage. The river in service accumulates all the tributaries carried. His very lowness is employed to deliver duties which all enjoy. Lao Tzu, it is said, placed this thought upon his head. To be is to do. Do not let them catch you acting, Spencer said, this matter-of-fact thing, because he said it be distracting. Do not show, but do already. Then, my friend, your deed is steady, and in the moment, you're needed, you'll be ready. Thank you. And then um, this one I thought is a, my little tribute to you wonderful artists, you fine, fine people who share your heart truth. This is called Totem Token. My token, Totem, is not a flag. It will never upon the bloody ground be dragged. It will never fulfill some gruesome pledge, or order some miscreant merrily off some pitiless and stony ledge. It will not upon the gridded sports ground be paraded. It will never unto those vivid cash-driven spirits be supplicated. It will not spur the clash of classes, nor ever bring to their bruised feet the huddled masses. Above no battlefield will it wave, nor handsomely decorate sepulcher or grave. Mankind, Mankind is my token, despite how regularly the gruesome gods may smote them, or place the bloody clot in one big pipe and smoke them, or boil them up until they're cherry red and ripe all gloating, or place them, chase them, dressed upon some golden plate, or ignoring countless disasters, cast their eyes dust to heaven and simply call it fate. But these fragile, funny creatures so nobly born, are all too often by their twa penny fellow spurn, burdened, blanched, and scorned. As for me, 
I laud the ragtag clan, and hereby celebrate the noble race of man. Ennobled by the lauded, fiery, Promethean spark withstand in the dark, ever indefatigable, in the artless ways of love resolve. Whether here in heaven, earth life or high in heaven above, I, they heed the clarion call of love. I celebrate these resilient beings who in a universe of inquatic chaos carve out somehow fruitful meanings. And then this last one, this is, this is my new favorite and hopefully it'll bring a smile to your face. I call this over, under, around, and through. Over, under, around, and through, the universe is going to take good care of you. As above, so below, count on your daily million miracles that ease your way, you know, or just count your toes. Hurtling, tumbling through the immensity of space implies, of course, the other place. And just the way sunlight sparkles on the water, just exactly how you know you water. I've often heard among the folks, they'd like a far different species of joke, not ever telling jokes so mean the ambassador up and closes his magazine. And from the rose press between the pages of an ancient book, we get a very different kind of look, that like the rose plastered between the pages, what colorfully threaded harmonies we find ourselves engaged in. Live out in mercy, come what may. May you too sprinkle a little mercy on the sacred bread of day. Over, under, around and through. The universe going to take care of you. Just like capuchin monkeys in the zoo, the stage age of sages cages, you're going to up and break on through. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for listening. The universe is going to take care of you, certainly, undoubtedly. That's a spiritual that it goes beyond. Thank you, Rick, as always, you know, talking about the human dance and talking about the satiric aspect of humanity too. <laughs> in the second poem. Brilliant. That was Rick. Please, uh, you know, give, uh, give a, I mean, give a round of applause to Rick. And yeah, yeah make some noise. <laughs> yeah. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is the one who, you know, he's a, she is a teacher and she has just has, you know, every time she, you know, always busy with you know, her training and, you know, taking courses and all. <laughs> so, so beautiful. And uh, please welcome Peace Varna. Yeah, please. Please turn on your mic, ma'am. Please turn on your mic. Okay. Namaste, sir. Good evening, all of you. And it's indeed a great platform to uh, the first uh, thing what you have read, sir. It's very good. Think of others, you said. So in the same way, I have thought of others. I thought I have thought of a dark night, whispers of the dark night. My, the title of my poem is Whispers of the Dark Night. Thinking of the dark night, I have written this one. Dark nights whisper, Ho moon, fill me with the light. Ho moon, fill me with the light. And, and above all, hug me tight. Dark nights whisper, Ho moon, fill me with the light. And above all, hug me tight. Though art my concert, Frame me beautiful in your warmth report. Though at my concert, frame me beautiful in your warmth report. Fill me with thy bright fragrant. Fill me with thy bright fragrant. Let my dreams cherish to make our love flourish. Let my dreams cherish to make our love flourish. I am for thee, you are for me. I am for thee, you are for me. Let me dwell in your sight. Be the light of love to my might. Let me dwell in your sight, be the light of love to my night. Though I am dark, I do hark. Though I am dark, I do hark. To you, to your love light. Though I am dark, I do hark to your love light. I am as a shadow wandering in the streets of deserts. I am as a shadow wandering in the streets of deserts. In the cruel buzzing cold winds, you as a mirage hidden amongst clouds. In the cruel buzzing cold winds, 
you as a miras hidden amongst clouds though i am dark i do hark let me dwell in your sight be the light of love to my every night let me dwell in your sight be the light of love to my every night i am for thee though i am dark i do hark be the light of love to my every night i am for thee you are for me this is a poem sir thank you for listening to my poem. i am for thee you are for me so beautifully um, beautiful line i mean it's like uh, every i mean uh, all the things you know you make uh, put it so beautifully and so, so beautiful. i mean uh, seeing the dark night i felt so uh, though i am dark i do hark yeah. listen the night and the moon there is a relation with them i thought so sir yeah it's quite empowering and so beautiful yeah. Thank you like, so much. I like the lines. Please, that was so one up. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Thank you. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is the one who is, you know, he takes the freshness of, he brings in the freshness of soil and be it a rain, be it, you know, uh, in the language or petrika or whatever it is. He sings beautifully. Please welcome Sridharan Parakode. Am I audible, Ji? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let us think of others. Means, when we are saying that uh, we rise by lifting others, we are thinking of others. And without others' presence, we are nothing. Uh, we can do something for others. So, that's why this is a beautiful book, Manishatam, Songs of, Songs of Humanity. Songs of Humanity, it is a very nice concept and we should appreciate it and evaluate it. And at the uh, same time, we shall consider it a valuable one. So, a poem is taken from this book, this beautiful book, The Joined Hands. The Joined Hands. These hands are not only for folding in prayers, but to take the handless hearts of the deprived and depressed. These hands are not only for, for folding in prayers, but to take the handless hearts of the deprived and depressed. The fingers are designed differently as human beings are different in outlooks and actions. In permission, preparation and execution, they may not be the same. In permission, preparation and execution, they may not be the same. Some may use for an applause, some for an embrace, some to become even the sufferer with their deplorable state. To have an eye on the weeping is noble. To have an eye on the weeping is noble, even if it is a very small look. Caring means sharing the wounds. Caring means sharing the wounds with a soft touch, with a portion of the heart and an unexpected pat in silence and an unexpected pat in silence yes thank you thank you very much thank you very much in this way. okay what about your malayalam line sir yeah 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 <laughs> i can say i can say yeah odukkam yeah. this is my poem at last meaning odukkam means at last വണ്ടി നീങ്ങുവാൻ കൈയുകൾ പൊന്തുന്നു പിൻവിളിക്കായി വരില്ല ചൂളം വിളി വണ്ടി നീങ്ങുവാൻ കൈയുകൾ പൊന്തുന്നു പിൻവിളിക്കായി വരില്ല ചൂളം വിളി നമ്മൾ എത്ര നാൾ നമ്മളാണെന്നത് തമ്മിൽ തമ്മിലറിഞ്ഞു പോയിടുക നമ്മൾ എത്ര നാൾ നമ്മളാണെന്നത് തമ്മിൽ തമ്മിലറിഞ്ഞു പോയിടുക കെട്ട കാലത്തിനൊപ്പം നടക്കുവാൻ കേട്ടതെല്ലാം മറന്നിട്ടു പോവുക കെട്ട കാലത്തിനൊപ്പം നടക്കുവാൻ കേട്ടതെല്ലാം മറന്നിട്ട് Oh, God. Spiritual trance. 
again you know it taken as we into wow have you taken a formal training of you know this classical music <laughs> beautiful is saying yeah. so beautiful so beautiful that was sri dharan uh, please give a round of applause my dear friends thank you thanks for coming sir please welcome our next poet our next poet is the one who gave, always shares you know you know a kind of uh, what do you call <laughs> charming <laughs> this image is and you know just she always blesses me and please welcome jill share and camel man thank you i came this morning because a dear friend his name is alan johnson many of you or may know alan he creates the most beautiful videos for the poetry community and i'm very happy to say you can find mine on on youtube just under my name there are so many of us grieving for alan's family and friends today that the poem i'm sharing is a path through our collective grief it's called healing magic a path through our collective grief gifts of lanterns light our way opalescent pearls magic beads prayers in dozens of languages all illuminate our pale dawns our collective grief once hollow black without fear without floor or perch frightens us a little less upon reflection and contemplation we are but few of many travelers gazing upon vistas of tranquility seizing memories hurling them to angels above perhaps even towards an elusive love we stumble on unfamiliar roads choosing to walk a little slower sl set our own pace leaving our footprints upon different paths a stranger's steady gaze captivates like heirloom roses and weeping willows we bend to show fellow travelers the grace of our limbs recognition and admiration in our eyes this has the makings of healing magic on different paths a stranger's steady gaze captive not sure what happened there sorry please go ahead. i finish i finish the poem i don't know where the where that echo came from but i i finished the poem yes thank you thank you zil that was profound and thank, thank you, you for sharing and thank you for coming uh that was zil my dear friends please as soon as you get to enter you know just uh, try to you know turn off your audio and so that there will not be any distraction let's get you know thank you thank you zil thank you thanks for coming please welcome our next poet our next poet is one who is is a you know beautiful writer he has uh, writes in bengali english and some other languages as is very well known in bang he is from bangladesh please welcome reza within stalin turn on your mic please Please turn on your mic, sir. Reza Udin Shtari. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Persona. I am very glad to uh, join here. You know that... Uh, oh, God. Uh, you know that in our country is very... Uh, uh, political situation is not good. You know that uh, uh, Bangladeshi political situation is not, oh God, why is going like this? Okay now? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. You have my. You might have opened two devices, so you could turn on other, other, uh, you know, turn off the other device. Maybe the audio. You could just. Now okay, Mister Kumar Persona. Yeah, yeah. I, we could still they hear hear the echo, but then yes, go ahead with. Thank you. Uh, I I think you know well that uh, uh, in Bangladesh our political situation is not so good, and uh, we are uh, passing uh, uh, so many troubles. Uh, oh God. Uh, continue, continue, sir. Continue. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, at first, I am uh, going to read my poem in. Uh, Bangla. Uh, the title of the name of poem is uh, "Durjog Theke Durjog Erakhi Pa." Uh, it, always, mic is going to off. Can you? Uh, Please can, go ahead, you... sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Durjog Theke Durjog Erakhi Pa. Oh, again, again, mic is off. No, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. You're, you're audible, go ahead, go ahead. Durjog theke durjog erakhi pa. Poth bhenge jai thikana bihin pothe. Bohu birodhita kuashar kola hal. Par hoye jabo anun to doi rathe. Durjog theke durjog erakhi pa. Oh, God. <laughs> Sir, we okay. can hear you. Please go ahead. You know, don't bother about the other things. Just go ahead. Okay. Durjog theke durjog rakhi ba. Poth bhenge jai thikana bihin pothi. Bhu birodhita kuashar kola hal par hoye jabo anunto doirathu. This is four lines, but uh, I am now I am uh, uh, going to recite. Uh, my poem in, translated by Dr. Helaluddin Ahmed. The title of the poem is Interviewing a Dead Man. A man laying at the corner of a footpath seemed dead, but surprisingly his body shook up as the neck of an ox shakes up when a fly sits on it. Out of curiosity, a pressure by stopped down to see him. Are you dead? His, he asks. Instantly, the dead man replies with angry, scolding voice. No, not yet. But does the matter to you? The pressure by acts, why then play dead? The dead man does not respond to the interview query and rolls over the other side. Then the acts with important voice tell me what is the point of playing live? Thanks. Thank you, Rezaudin, sir. We had this, you know, kind of interruption during your presentation, but yes, it is beautiful. Uh, no. Please give a round of applause to Rezaudin Stalin for his read out for a Bengali and English poem as well. Thank you. Uh, in, uh, you know that uh, 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 coming Sunday, I will uh, join with you and I will give you time. And uh, I think that your poem already published in our magazine, uh, Red Times magazine. It's a very famous uh, online magazine. And uh, somebody told me that your poem is very uh, good and they like your poem. Some readers, they told me. You can uh, post in your page. Thank you. Certainly so we do that. Thank, thank, thank you for the honor and thank you for the honor and thanks for the coming and please welcome our next poet our next poet is the one who is who is considered i mean say he's actually for me i'm to me and he's a great supporter and he's always a guide and you know so for the fatal brains and whatever so please welcome lantern career
I think you know, and on time, <clears throat> we've had a change of time in England. My golden empress. My life began with soulful and dutiful pride. A boon from my mother's sacrifice, selflessness, care and concern. This lasted into my early twenties until I traveled, leaving my mother's sacrifice hidden in the deeper recesses of my bloodline. And so fate held me in the grip of foreign struggle, experiencing the vicissitudes of life, the joys and sorrows, the pleasure and pain, fastening me to a mast of turbulent emotions and boisterous waters. I was a dauntless mariner at sea, striving to return home to mum. One night I walked a path almost lost in my memories. I looked up as the candescent moon flooded my soul with its luminous light, erasing my self-inflicted labyrinths and whispering promises of better tomorrows. Not long afterwards, I found her, a golden empress, waltzing among a kaleidoscope of glittering spring butterflies, flapping their wings as they sowed in flight and dancing with the elegance of gliding swans. Her skin spoke of the beauty of sunsets, merging with the cool indigo rays of crimson salmon rainbows, a luring smile, riding on the crest of lilac pastel hues and maroon bug in the shades on the crest of horizons. A scent was like lavenders, and as we gazed at each other in this grove of love divine, the sweet wars of jasmines were no match for her breath. Colors faded into insignificance as her form became quintessentially a bridge for me to ascend to her luster. I felt the heart rejoice even as my dancing feet moved in silence and my mouth spoke through the muteness enforced by her bewilderment. We took in the grandeur of daffodils, the marvel of orchids, even as the heavens spoke, whispering I love yous to the flying song bearers, serenading our life of togetherness with the magical arias. My soul quivered, enamored by her enchantment, I felt a peace and serenity not experienced before, and to me, our deep silence was permeated by a paragon of peerless symphonies, stabbing our hearts with magnificent cadences, even as our spirit glowed, the ground on which we stood becoming hallowed beneath our feet. An inner fire consumed me, and I wanted to tell my queen how much I loved her, but I could hear her breath in the solitude of her oneness, whispering and treating me to remain still as she poured the lips of a honeyed wine in the vast profundity of my being. My skin was raised, my heart seemed to stand still in equipoise, my life swinging pendulum now equally balanced in the joy of loving. My breath ceased, then flowed into the breath of breaths, embracing me first with my nafs my ignorant shadows erasing all impediments, only to fill the zenith of my existence with a ceaseless love. Anton Carey, thank you. Solitude of oneness. I always, you know, <laughs> intently listen and try to get those lines. You know, I can <laughs> take hands to my, you know, always and never get tired. I mean, it's like tired of, you know, saying that, you know, listening to you is. Like, you are not in time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Uh, please welcome. That was Lantern. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends. Please welcome our next poet. Yes, next poet is, yeah, of course, my dear Jennifer M. Gonades. Please welcome. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, so two poems. Um, the themes are serious, deals with what's happening today. First poem is titled Fire. By my, my eyes. Open, open. Scramble out of bed. 
body trembling, my bladder feeling trepidation, springing into action, frightfully being myself, seeing the tight fire red sky, my bedroom wall gone, broken glass, smashed furniture, miraculously loved alive. Dear God, thanks for placing your ball around me. Quickly melt the hardened heart of man. Let us live in peace again. We want peace. Or in future destruction of lives they plan for war. We want peace. They make weapons for war, spending billions. We want peace. They want war. My next poem is titled The Beginning of the End. This moment, this year is the beginning of the end. Between now and then, a time. Do you want to climb the social ladder, feeding your fans daily, weekly, hourly, years and words, to boost your growing ego? So deep down, you know, I know, we know, you are not really an egoist. Mother of five children suddenly died accepting difficult challenges, swallowing, stuffing her mouth with marshmallows to gain adoration, likes. So, yes, it's not worth you endangering your life, knowingly or knowingly, for people who do not know you. Likes are not more important than your self-esteem, your family, your life. Lives are senseless, unimportant. Rest in peace, though, and those with digital challenges, avoid a challenge. But to be your priority, you lose your life, losing the challenge. And patient, high on adoration, daily howling, scanning your fan post, shock, read, criticisms, mobbing, suddenly realizing it's not all fans of yours who make their way onto your blocks, their words, in fogs in your brain, your eyes blurred with tears. Isolation. Don't let your mind be you, forcing you to in suicidal thoughts. They are not worth it. Live for yourself. For their selfishness, live for the Almighty. Faith can give you courage, peace of mind. Live to be true to yourself. Don't let them mess up your brain. Don't give them power over your life. Suicidal. They are not worthy of you abandoning you for the bullies bullying you. Oh, that was powerful. They are very topical. Jennifer? Yeah. 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 Think of yeah, others. Yeah, yeah. We need peace. That's what's happening in society today. So sad. Yeah. yeah, mental health is very much important. Thank you, Jennifer. Thanks for you know sharing your piece. Thanks for coming and thanks for you know reading out your two pieces. Please give a round of applause for Jennifer Thank and Gonitas. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is the one uh, who has recently released a book and it is uh, coming out came out so well, and she's uh, is a award winning poet. Please welcome Naima Chamchaon. Thank you. Okay, um, first poem. Insomnia. In the torturous throes of the restless hour, the wakefulness I hungrily devour, plagued by sleeplessness, the onerous onslaught of ricocheting thought Defeated by hopelessness, a spark of jade at the watchtower, the crackle of searing paper, inching towards rest, the demons it arrests as in somnolence tapers, the bitter earthy timber, a harsh rush to the throat, 
picture yourself on a boat, a sly paper plane kimba, a divine Buddhist quest, relinquishing earthly attachments, a sanguine sea of detachment, sleep beckons, smartly dressed, the weariness of the body seeps softly into the mind, thoughts halt with a grind, tripping as we tip the toddy. Then, in jagged valleys and steeps, middles with no beginning or end, contemplating solutions, forgetting the questions, white rabbits smile and descend down dim pits, infinitely deep. The slither of a dream warmly ushers me in, the sleep that I seek, the saviour I greet. Thank you. And the uh, second piece. Happenstance. Perhaps an unexpected prelude in a bookshop. The scene shifted from airless humidity to fan delight, and the ground slipped away like a thief in the night. The spine sang of Benjaloon and Chekhov. Traffic trickled sluggishly somewhere, beyond the dispersed tables and chairs, beyond colourfully displayed literature, some vaguely distant place but not here, a smiling, dreamy discourse, keeping its own time, the voices chirping lilt of joyfulness, a gorged gabfest, its words gluttonous, and the moment's motion pleasingly supine, then the breath which caught you, exhaled you, irate taxi drivers and pollution smeared stress, an iris adrift on the memory's surface, recalling fulsomeness, a wavering waltz fading into the blue. Thank you. As I always say, you know, I like your reading. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I should get this, you know, every take a leaf out of it and, you know, I start, start you know, practicing. <laughs> so beautiful, Neymar. You know, so powerful and so, you know, you. very thought, uh, you know, that provoking one. Thank you. That was Neymar, my dear friends. Please give a round of applause. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is from Singapore and she is, wants to go leave early. So please welcome Sylvia Ang. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Please. Can you hear me? Yes. I can't see my screen. Yes, you could read, read your poem, Sylvia. Okay, and we will be all right. Yeah. Okay, this is one of uh, old uh, young romantic poet that read in Simple Rana and uh, it's a little bit cute. Love is in the air. They are that true mutual. Understanding tender heart and kisses. Love is in the air, wiggling of the toes, laughter in the air. Love is in the air, wiggling of toes, laughter in the air. Love is in the air, 
Whisper sweet nothing, making love with a soft music. Love is in the air, fueling the sheer sense of fabric. Love is in the air, hugging, fueling the smell of the body odor. Love is in the air, feeling the gentle curses of the neck and shoulder. Love is in the air, coffee brewing in the kitchen, the smell of omelette. This spoken word poetry signify young love. Okay, I have done. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. Love's in there. Whether it's a positive or not. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Sylvia. Uh, that was Sylvia. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Next up is, yes, definitely she made her, uh, her you know, created and I mean, it's like a wonderful name of herself. Please welcome Madam Josephine Gomez. Ma'am, please turn on your mic. Yeah, okay, I have a music. Good evening, my poetry comrades. Um, okay, I prepared uh, two poems tonight as usual. Okay, just a moment. One of them is a poem dedicated to my poetry mentor who passed on uh, some years back. I think that was seven years ago. Her name is um, Dr. Ophelia de Malanta. She's very well known. She's authored many books in poetry. She was Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences of the University of Santo Tomas, one of the oldest universities in the world. And she uh, actually is the first artist in residence of that old university, which was founded in the 1500s. Okay, this is the poem I wrote dedicated to her. Poetics after you're gone. That form still matters in the new criticism, but text is still the carrier of what a good poem ought to be, a bridge between poet and reader. Did I wait for the toning down of emotion to make sense of what I write, ma'am? G.A. says, G.A. is heavy now, bud. G.A. says one must capture that moment in the raw to express colorfully and make a poem into what it ought to be. A poem, after all, unsays more than says. Is this the spine that holds up the defamiliarization and the irony you suffuse your lines with that give your poetic utterances the luster that never fades? Or is it your poetic identification with the burning metaphor you echo Eliot's counsel to completely separate the poet suffering from the mind creating as an escape from emotion, just as Dharma says, mind and emotion cannot coexist. Often, we do not know because we don't bother to know. In poetry, Ostranenie, as cited by Shlovsky, is what you endorse to make a stone stonier, the skies lovelier, to the mind that now sees it like it never before did. Oh, what power language has, its creative passioning, its abnormal syntax, its disordered rhythm, its ruffering, all blended into a delectable entree. Mom Offie, or Offie as you would have me call you, you poured into me the perfect recipe of a gourmet dish I have just began to chew to savor the rest of my poetic life, free from fish bones or any unpleasant taste, but only the best flavors that bring delight to the station. Bon appétit, I bid my readers from here on. I wrote this several years back. Thank you, 
Okay, my next poem is about meditation. And the title is Invisible Destination. In stillness, you travel to an unexplored destination, to a place invisible to all, unfamiliar to you. It is noisy within you. So much jumping going on. It can scare you of the prospect of being unable to push aside, clinging to concepts, to likes and dislikes, attachments to relations, loves lost, love not yet found, attachment to worldly pursuits, to triumphs, activities, to tastes, sights and scents, to feelings of joy and satisfaction, attachment to beauty and good health, attachment to life itself. It is a long journey, surprisingly, shoving the fetters along the way, removing the blinders to clear vision, ascertaining what you think to be you and yours, other and others. Traveling within is like a long journey on foot, passing through thorny bushes, beating large, wild, fierce beings in a dark, forlorn forest, battling with demons, suppressing pain and discomfort, avoiding quicksand and black holes. Just press on. Many such journeys done correctly can bring you to your much yearned for place. As you travel daily inside yourself and do so with mind watching thoughts and feelings, as you get closer to your destination, you shall enjoy the view. You shall breathe luxuriously. You shall find the space of primordial wisdom. The eye no longer exists, where mind becomes a strange word, where you merge with all and realize the self doesn't exist. Quite philosophical, maybe, yeah. Attachment, beautifully put, Joseph. Ah, very, I mean, it's like sublime. But but Thank you. Maybe you could have a review on that poem. So beautiful. Thank you. That Thank was Ma'am Josephine Gomez. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is joining us for the forum. Uh, Lance, please welcome. And she's a great, quite inspiration, inspirational personality. And I like her match. So please welcome Mina Chohan. Good evening, all my poets, and good morning also. I was a little poem. I was in Durga Puja, but last Sunday I joined. So I was a little poetry. Ma Durga. Ma Durga. Sare Jakki Mata Hotum. Sare Jakki Mata Hotum. Sabki Ho Palan Har. अतुलनीय रूप है तेरा शक्ति तेरा है अपरंपार अतुलनीय रूप है तेरा शक्ति तेरा है अपरंपार सिंह की सवारी आपकी सिंह की सवारी आपकी नौ रात्रि में नौ दुर्गा के नए नए रूप हर रूप की अपनी महिमा हर रूप की अपनी महिमा शैल पुत्री तुम प्रथम कहलाती दूतीय ब्रह्मचारिणी हो तुम चंद्र घटना तृतीय रूप है आपका कुशमंडा तेरा रूप चतुर्थी पंचम स्कंद माता कहलाती सिस्टम कथ्यानी हो तुम काल रात्रि तेरा सप्तम रूप अष्टम में तुम महागौरी अष्टम में तुम महागौरी नौ नवम सिद्धि दात्री हो तुम सुख समृद्धि और मोक्ष की माता हो तुम सुख समृद्धि और मोक्ष की माता हो तुम आपका स्वागत है माँ आपका स्वागत है माँ कर जोड़ करू मैं बिनती तुम सब पर कृपा करो सही रहा सभी अपनाए बहे सदा प्यार का झरना सही रहा 
सभी अपनाए बहे सदा प्यार का झरना तेरी ही तो शक्ति है तेरी ही तो शक्ति है इस दुनिया का आधार तुम दुर्गा तुम ही काली तुम दुर्गा तुम ही काली तुम सबकी करे रखवाली जग की रक्षा करो माँ आपसे है बिनती हमारी जग की रक्षा करो माँ आपसे है बिनती हमारी बस प्रसन्ना दिस इज छोटा सा बस कविता थैंक यू सो मच मैम आज मैंने एक जी जी हाँ बोलो प्लीज 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 गो हेड मैम नहीं मैंने बोला बस ओनली वन एक ही पोयम आपने तो सुना होगा ये मैंने और प्लेटफॉर्म पे मैंने सुनाया था जस्ट ओके okay. <coughs> मेरी दूसरी पोएम है कविता है रास्ता तकदीर ने कुछ इस कदर साथ निभाया तकदीर ने कुछ इस कदर साथ निभाया रास्ते पे चलते चलते गिरा कर उठाया तकदीर ने कुछ इस कदर साथ निभाया रास्ते पे चलते चलते गिरा कर उठाया कुछ अलग था रास्ता जब शुरू किया था सफर कुछ अलग था रास्ता जब शुरू किया था सफर रास्ते में कोई नहीं बस अकेली थी रास्ते में कोई नहीं बस अकेली थी फिर एक सुनहरा सा मोड़ आया फिर एक सुनहरा सा मोड़ आया फिक्र न थी मंजिल की बस चल दिया फिक्र न थी मंजिल की बस चल दिया सोचा नहीं ये साथी नहीं ये तो मुसाफिर है सोचा नहीं ये साथी नहीं मुसाफिर हैं, रास्ते में ही छोड़ जाएंगे रास्ता तो क्या मंजिल पाना भी मुश्किल हो जाएगा रास्ता तो क्या मंजिल पाना भी मुश्किल हो जाएगा अब चल दी थी तो मुड़ना मुश्किल था अब चल दी थी तो मुड़ना मुश्किल था रास्ता कठिन लग रहा था पर हंसी खुशी से रास्ता कट रहा था कई कठिनाइयों का सामना कर आगे बढ़ रही थी कई कठिनाइयों का सामना कर आगे बढ़ रही थी मंजिल तो दिख रही थी पर थोड़ा डर भी लग रहा था मंजिल तो दिख रही थी पर थोड़ा डर भी लग रहा था तभी कुछ अपनों ने हाथ दिया और खुद से उठना सिखा दिया तभी कुछ अपनों ने हाथ दिया और खुद से उठना सिखा दिया रास्ते की परख करके जिंदगी जीना सिखा दिया रास्ते ने ठोकर तो दिलाई रास्ते ने ठोकर तो दिलाई पर मुश्किलों से लड़ना भी सिखा दिया रास्ते ने ठोकर तो दिलाई पर मुश्किलों से लड़ना भी सिखा दिया चोट देकर चोट देकर उस पर वक्त का मर्रम भी लगाया चोट देकर उस पर वक्त का मर्रम भी लगाया तकदीर ने कुछ इस कदर साथ निभाया रास्ते पे चलते चलते गिरा कर उठाया रास्ते पे चलते चलते गिरा कर उठाया Wow, how beautiful it is, ma'am. How beautiful, a honest confession, I would say. So beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Ooh, Thank you, Prasanna. Thank this you. This is a beautiful quiz. Such an inspirational and it's a journey that you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that you. हमारे स्ट्रास हमारे सब के लाइफ जिंदगी के रास्ते में ऐसे कुछ परेशानियाँ आती हैं सब की अलग अलग तरह तरह की different type of. you know it your smiling face you did i dealt with all the things up and you know you confessed and you beautifully put beautifully put thank you thank you ma'am thank you that was mina chohan my dear friends that's a beautiful presented as a beautiful voice and those who are i mean we have 
Yes, uh, definitely. We have the beautiful uh, Santosh Bakaya, ma'am, and Dr. Rupari Sarkargar, but Somdata Mitra, ma'am, we have a line of poets, Dominic Santosh, but before that, please welcome our beautiful couple, Ganga Lakshmi Patnaik and Shama Prasad Patnaik. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. It's a great pleasure to receive invitation from Kumar Prashanna ji to attend the poem reading program on online. I'm extremely impressed with this program, esteemed poet Prashanna ji organizing on every Sunday. Therefore, I would like to recite about the mid-autumn festival poem known as Moon Festival. <clears throat> the title of the poem is Moon Festival or Festival of Reunion. Moon Festival or Festival of Reunion. It is an evening celebration where families gather together to worship round moon, eat moon-shaped cakes. It's an evening celebration where families gather together to worship round moon, eat moon-shaped cakes. The full moon symbolizes the union so families reunite to worship moon and reconnect with friends. The full moon symbolizes reunion so families reunite to worship moon and reconnect with friends. This is Sarat Punima, celebrated in India to mark brightest and fullest moon of the year. This is Sarat Punnima, celebrated in India to mark brightest and fullest moon of the year. Moon brings radiance to earth. Devi Lakshmi descends to bless devotees who observes rituals in Goddess Lakshmi's honor. Moon brings radiance to earth. Devi Lakshmi descends to bless devotees who observe rituals in Goddess Lakshmi's honor. Maidens welcome with full glee, rapture, juicence, carry autumn laughter, offering prayers to full moon. Maidens welcome with full glee, rapture, juicence, carry autumn laughter, offering prayers to full moon to get a husband, ideal husband, to get a handsome ideal husband like Karthik, Lord Shiva Shami, to get a husband, handsome ideal husband, like Karthik, Lord Shiva's son. Women celebrate womenhood with delight when whole atmosphere becomes lively. Women celebrate womenhood with delight when whole atmosphere becomes lively. The gopis dance to the tunes of Lord Krishna's flute, Jezili. The gopis dance to the tunes of Lord Krishna's flute, Jezili. All celebrate Gajalakshmi Puja, inculcating divine virtues, whose echoes are heard from all corners. All celebrate Gajalakshmi Puja, inculcating divine virtues, whose echoes are heard from all corners. Goddess Gajalakshmi seated on lotus, flanked by an elephant on both sides, gives wealth in abundance. Goddess Gajalakshmi seated on lotus, flanked by an elephant on both sides, gives wealth in abundance. This is the end of my first poem. My second piece is Cozy Autumn Night. Cozy Autumn Night. Can I forget that territory visited at times leads to landscape Still, cool, shady, full of joyous pain, when you and I stood on shore beneath cloudless sky. Can I forget that territory visited at times leads to landscape still, cool, shady, full of joyous pain, when you and I stood on shore beneath cloudless sky. This landscape darkens, deepens, swollen with solitude, 
solemnity it is the autumn of love in our relationship this landscape darkens deepens solemn with solitude solemnity it is the autumn of love in our relationship with leaves falling from the trees daylight becomes shorter nights get longer and cozier come dear let's celebrate the unique beauty of autumn and all the delights with leaves falling from the trees daylight becomes shorter nights get longer and cozier come dear let's celebrate the unique beauty of autumn and all the delights birds whisper earth and sky woods and fields lakes and rivers mountain river excellent school masters teach us more than what could we learn from brochure birds whisper earth and sky woods and fields lakes and rivers mountain river excellent school masters teach us more than what could we learn from brochure leaves speak bliss fluttering from the autumn tree gives peace to our life tree grows its accord puts down roots teach living die life continues like this leaves speak bliss fluttering from the autumn tree gives peace to our life tree grows its accord puts down roots teach living die life continues like this my recitation is over thanks dear prasanna and my poet friends Thank autumn you. of loves beautiful ma'am beautiful autumn of love i like the first one very much no so beautiful you put the sharad purnima and uh, please we well, please welcome our next poet and next poet is yes of course <laughs> yeah better of all dr lakshmi patnaik shama prasad patnaik but before that give a round of applause to dr ganga lakshmi patnaik thank you Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, actually, two devices are on. That's why from problem is there. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone. Really, I am delighted to get invitation for reciting my poem. I am thankful to Prasanna sir to organize such a beautiful platform and beautiful poetic session. So, first of all, uh, as you know. my mother tongue is odia i i will recite uh, one odia poem <clears throat> the title of my odia poem is prema aparajita prema aparajita love is uh, indestructible amo prema ro smaraniya muhurta sabu vishwasar bandhana re bandha eha ko ahuri sakta kar तुम्हें समाज कठोर नियम को न मानी मो हाथ को जाबुड़ी मत आलिंगन कर तुम गभार सुगंधित जस्मिन फुल महक साथे तुम चमक एत मोह भरा आस आम प्रेम बंधन को आहरी शक्त करने को संकल्प ने बाधपरिक दुनिया जमी दुई प्राण को के भाग कर संपर्क को आहरी मजबूत कर प्रेम सेतु अतिक्रम करी, आमे उल्लसित तो होई मजा ने पर्वतर सुंदर शिखर को छुईवा प्रेम सीमाहीन हो जाए जेबे आम एकत्र चल सब कष्ट सही करू आम दुईट शरीर रे एक अभिन्न आत्मा अनंत आनंद को अतिक्रम करू नाली गालीचार आच्छादित तो, पुष्पभरा रास्त स्वर्गर नंदनकानन को जा Sugandhi to pull up. So this was my rendition in Odia. So I am going to recite my second poem in English. The title of my poem is uh, "Pillars of Success." It's a motivational poem. Failures never last endless. Overcome numerous hurdles to succeed in cherished missions. Failures are pillars of success. you grasp the lessons from your illust experiences apply your perseverance to start new initiatives instead of pondering over past 
never hesitate to rejuvenate your vitality, sanguineness, to fulfill your desired ambitions. Sunset offers another glorious sun to illuminate your path of success. Never lament about anguish inflicted by woes. Make headway crossing stumbling blocks. Your catastrophic episodes turn into sheer accelerations. Adversaries would felt like fantasy. When a scholar succeeds with flying colors, previous problems vanish into reminiscence. When a job aspirant receives employment through persistent efforts, recaptures bygone trust, love becomes exuberant after approval of sweet paramour, after a series of approaches. And that is the end of my poem and the end of my recitals now. So thank you very much for watching. Beautiful, sir. That's quite motivational indeed. And I like the audio uh, reading too. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming, sir. That was Santosh Kumar, uh, 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 Shama Prasad Patnaik, sir. Please welcome, uh, please uh, give a round of my applause, my dear friends. Uh, next up is our mentor who will be saying a few things about Manushatram and will be reading all this. And yes, <laughs> over to you, ma'am. <laughs> Prasanna, yeah. good evening. Uh, good evening, dear poets who are friends and friends who are poets. Uh, I'm sure Prasanna, you'd like to tell them a little about tomorrow uh, that we're going to be releasing this book offline. I'm in Hyderabad in another city and I have met Prasanna for the first time offline. It's a very exciting moment in my life too. Um, I thought that instead of reading one of my poems because I really don't feel like, you know, from my heart anything coming, but I'd read um, from uh, two poets, one located in New York, uh, Conceta Pipia, and the other located in, uh, in the United Kingdom, uh, Margaret Blake. So I start with Concerta Pipia's poem, and it's very interesting that although this book has come out and she's written the poem perhaps last year for our book, uh, it is very much relevant to what is happening today because the book is called Manushatram. It's all about humanity. So this is relevant always at all times. Looking for peace. Peace or oh peace, this is what Concerta Pipia say. Looking for peace. Peace or oh peace, where have you gone? I miss the calm that you brought along. No more tranquility, no more serenity. All that remains is a world of scene. Gone are the days of unity and love, replaced with hate and hostility above. Oh, how I long for a world at ease, where everyone ran just at peace. At ease. We must all strive to bring back the light, to stop this endless, endless fight. We must stand together hand in hand and work towards a peace that's grand. I propose we work towards a brighter tomorrow where peace and love can blossom and grow. Let us all unite, let us all be one and bring peace back for its long overdue. So we have this wonderful poem on peace and the second one is by Margaret Blake who lives in the United Kingdom for various reasons. I, uh, they are unable to you know, uh, physically be, be with us on this program. So I thought it would be nice if I read their poems out. Light in the darkness. And it's very interesting that both of them are very positive. Uh, they are elderly, but they are extremely positive. The world seeds a cauldron. It's called light in the darkness. The world seeds a cauldron, mistrust, self-interest, and greed swirl around, dividing, harming, rolling, a vortex of hate. Indifference reigns, families divide, communities shatter, nations war, eyes weep, hearts break, life crumbles, shatters, fragment. Yet, and this is the crucial moment of the poem, yet on the horizon a golden glow glimmers, darkness reign ending. And I think we at Fertile Brain believe that, and that is why we've been able to bring out this book, that yet on the horizon, the golden glow glimmers, darkness reign, humanity rising, refusing 
the cesspit of despair. A smile, an outstretched hand, trust forming, compassion building, oppression ending, barriers crumbling, color and creed no longer dividing, east and west uniting, people striving, marching together towards a vibrant, glorious new dawn. Marching together towards a vibrant, glorious new dawn. I wish you, Prasanna, a wonderful release of this book tomorrow. And I'm very, very fortunate to be with you tomorrow. So here it is, friends. Honor is all mine, ma'am. Honor is all mine. I have no words, in fact, uh, to tell you, uh, frankly, my dear friends, sometimes I get overwhelmed and I could not express. And, uh, you know, sometimes I think I could hide those movements and I could, you know, keep it for the, you know, future time so that I could, you know, uh, put it more, I mean, uh, present it more, you know, beautifully. So I think I haven't shared on Facebook wall or maybe I could get this thing to be in a kind of, you know, you will like it. So I, yes, I, wish all, I wish all of us were here tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think I could just, you know, present uh, the poster of that. I think I just let me try it. What's interesting that these poets, 165 poets from all parts of the world, have written about the same thing, the humanity that has come out. It's incredible. You able to see this uh, poster of the mall of the Manushatum? Uh, anyone, if you could just say, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me try another thing out. Maybe files. Uh, don't take the thing. Would you have anyone? Uh, just you know, please, uh, if you could just. Uh, not getting whether I, I don't know whether you are you know watching. yes sir I, we can see this this is okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely yeah. visible and yeah. just shining brightly right oh, in front okay. of us so that is it thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you for this thing and uh, that was the posture and uh, yeah thank you <laughs> yeah jennifer for those who participated in this anthologies we are having this small gathering and with the Five or six poets, and they'll be reading on us. Yes, Mina is there. Mina, ma'am, till uh, till we missed and so when I ma'am we missed it. But Siama and Somdatta, Jennifer, Dominic, Sridhar and Sir, Lantern, Lantern, of course, is special because you know he put your forward and uh, kind of uh, editorial and Ganga Lakshmi, Mili, Gargi, Nema, and so, so the, there. Now, and now, would it be a festival or a private gathering? What sort of event would it be? Uh, it's just a short, uh, you know, kind of gathering, informal gathering. So, so since, you know, Rupali, ma'am, and you, you know, uh, we are here in Hyderabad. So we thought of uh, Rupali, ma'am, my idea was that, you know, to have a small gathering so that you could just, you know, bring something yes. to talk about. So that yeah. is the posture regarding that. So it is not a Great. big one. It is not a arranged one. It's a it's a start. Great. Sorry? It's a start. Great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll be, uh, uh, maybe we try to capture those videos. So we haven't, you know, had this arrangement of all, but then we try maximum to, you know, for, you know, so focus on that. But that was something, say, humble attempt. <laughs> maybe you can say with you all your <laughs> blessings and all. So uh, that was it. Uh, I I think I could, I would love, I uh, now welcome uh, Santosh Bakaya, ma'am. Uh, to read her uh, poem. So, Santosh oh, um, Bakayama, over to you. Thank you so much, Prasanna. You are doing a wonderful job. And it was uh, wonderful listening to all the vibrantly, pulsatingly inspirational poems. And uh, thank you, Rupali Ji. Those poems are wonderful too. So, the poem that I'm going to read is from my book, What is the Meter of the Dictionary? And uh, it was written last year on the 2nd April, uh, 19, uh, 2nd April, yeah, 
and uh, it is it was written on world autism day so it is uh, a poem written from the background back, uh, a child is speaking an autistic child so uh, look mommy for the blue roses look mama look papa how i splash the hues of love while that tiny dove looks lovingly at me <laughs> it is a dove it is a dove isn't it so pure and quiet what is the difference between a dove and a pigeon what is the difference between me and the others me and the others both have mothers and fathers too so where lies the difference why am i different why am i different mommy look how affectionately how affectionately it looks at a blue rose <laughs> roses are nice no so are doves you often call me your little dove mommy how i love you mommy i really do yes i too am quiet i too am quiet by but my heart speaks volumes when i see you beaming with delight beaming with delight at my small victories of life i know i know you understand the language of my beams when i carry my glass to the kitchen slab when i make a victory sign when i pull up my socks when i pull up my socks when i paint little houses with little, little lakes my heart my heart does a thousand cartwheels when i see you and papa sitting together and smiling talking smiling smiling talking talking sometimes frowning too sometimes frowning too please keep smiling don't worry about me i will overcome one day i will overcome one day yes i will for uh, when you are not around when you are not around i'll teach the meaning of innocence and purity to the world the world will sit back and listen why are your eyes glistening mommy why are your eyes glistening i often wonder i often wonder why that aeroplane man why that aeroplane man was arguing with you i know i know you were saying something about me but don't worry don't worry mommy i do not like planes anyway but i do like flying i do like flying and i fly in my dreams and i smile i smile mommy look mommy i hold the world in my palm i hold the world in my palm some people some people in this world look uh, quizzically at me what are they trying to find out huh what are the questions hovering on their lips you know mommy uh, i see the cat smile at me the dog look lovingly at me the pigeon yodel only for me but why why do these people look at me with questions in their eyes with questions in their eyes they are questionable people questionable people look look mommy how the birds sing songs for me such beautiful songs there is beauty everywhere mommy there is beauty everywhere mommy there is love everywhere mommy i love everyone i love everyone love is me love is me thank you thank you for this wonderful poem you moved me to tears and so <laughs> i was on the i was almost choking and i improvised along the way some lines were not there in the poem it's so true it's so true so true so deep true thank you thank you so much thank you sometimes they need to wear the shoe and to get into the skin of their uh, the, you know the soul and uh, the right and you know uh, understand mm -hmm. the writing on autism and uh, you know the feelings you know the kind of thing. something uh, thank you ma'am thank you that was uh, you. really hot rendering all the teachers thank you thank you ma'am that was santosh bakaya please uh, give a round of applause my dear friends thank you uh, so beautifully portrayed please welcome our next poet our next poet is me i mean it's like yeah <laughs> the dream of grass blades witness the light of season parched leaves tasted the juice of green what went barren with no hope of germination whisper of shine came into rain the colors terrain brought a message of dominance who is the authority and who is the who is the subordinate none can tear the official proclamation nature has its own edict written in eternal construction green lantern 
that was a piece uh, hope you liked it thank you and uh, uh, let me call upon dr i mean uh, dominic windram who writes a small verses get powerful please welcome dr uh, dominic windram thank you <clears throat> um the first poem is called uh, modern purgatories when all the veins ran out of blood wine when all the roots of faith were destroyed, we have to rely on false preachers and prophets. The green age congealed quickly in an eye's twinkling. Worship of idols prevailed. Some would even bless the bleached bones of a carcass rotting in the sun of superficial longings, rather than return from darkness towards the light. Mass advertising replaced time-honored symbols. Oh, its garish signs atomized our consciousness. Now we have to wear the masks of mercenaries. We are still forced to listen via TV, which I view with contempt, to the squealing choirs of pigs on Saturday nights. These modern purgatories are depressingly currently ubiquitous. When will it all end? Technology is addled with gremlins and links always seem to be broken. Blue circles spin round and round ad infinitum. It is farcical. To hell with all these schemes of planned obsolescence. This page is not responding. Asinine adverts prevent dialogue sweet flow. The wars on our screens are never really explained, just part of endless entertainment packages. So-called precision strikes create collateral damage on a vast scale as far as I can see. Centers don't respond to the periphery. In an age where burning questions are avoided at all costs by cold supine bureaucrats and those lackeys who still permeate frenzied media landscapes, Yet notwithstanding all numbing or mind-numbing distractions in the vast graveyard of non-communication through virtual worlds, I still peek through the cracks in badly made designs, and one day soon I would like to bask in the warm communion of one who comprehends me and one whom I can relate to. Thank you, that's the first one. The second one is about patriarchy in all its forms. It's called Sons of. Sons of brute darkness, embrace the feminine light. You must relinquish the steel of your control and break open your hearts. As love cannot ever hope to prosper within your clenched fascist fish, fists of stone. I say let flowers of sweet faithfulness unfold in vast springtimes of teeming mercy and grace, as I see bitter hatred flow deeply within your eyes. Your divisive walls condemn all ragged strangers you dig, you dig up lost bones like rabid dogs of despair that have spent too long wandering in the desert. Sons of pioneers, will your vain conquests never cease? All your gods are really idols and you hide behind great flags and fake democratic notions. I have seen enough of your phallic monuments to last a lifetime. Your fragile em empires will one day shatter like glass. Your crude systems will not last. Your fabled statues will be reduced to mere dust. Your uniforms don't fit independent bodies. Sons of occupation, revenge is diminishing. Your finer human elements. See how you age as you tread over bloody pathways towards graves of the disappeared. Your right to justice is marred. It is better to light small candles and pray hard for absolution in the dreadful abyss of night and strain like gnarled roots against wise hours of time. Sons of cold fathers, look to the warm children's land. Its profound flows of innocence will set you free, and you can begin again with newborn longings. Sons of brute darkness, embrace the feminine light. Thank you. Beautiful, Dominic, as always. Thank you. And thanks for coming and thanks for taking your time out of and uh, you know and that was Dominic. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends. Thank you. Uh, thanks for coming, Dominic. Uh, please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is, yeah, of course, yeah, she's joining after a long gap. Please welcome. And she, uh, you know, once uh, brought her the kids. Uh, you know who dare? I mean, it's like there's there's a the platform. We should have them you know, another round of you know kind of uh, session. Right? Um, please welcome Doctor. Uh, I mean, Doc. Yes, I'm with the ambassador. Uh, Somdatta Mitra. 
Good evening, everybody. Missed so many episodes of this Fertile Brains for a long time. And uh, joining here with pleasure and request from Mr. K. Prasanna, sir, gives me a lot of delight. And also, you know, a lot of joy and ecstasy. Uh, today, I have, uh, you know, dealt with very, uh, you know, uh, minor is social issues, which often we might just ignore. I mean, generally, we do not give so much of importance to these trivial issues, perhaps. Uh, but when it, it catapults to a kind of impact in our own lives, then only perhaps we deal with it, we feel about it. So these are very two sensitive poems, uh, which the first one is related to mockery about love one who has not experienced love but is mocking at a person or a, at a couple who are indulged in love so uh, the title i've given is he just has scars that never felt a wound in an apathy his sinusure reminds of a repugnance mocking at her courtship with judgments it seemed his wit injured my heart as he administered and embossed several scars, expressive of an abject despair. My love was under the encumbrance of his dare. He zest at scars that never felt a wound. His life was like a dark cave, devoid of any light that soothes. No one, perhaps, catapulted to urge for a union. No one ever turned him with any proposal. Fragments of a rose never attracted his soul. Deep into an insufficiency, he turned into a hard coal. Dreams have scattered his emotions. Sensations were chained by several disasters. He never experienced the moments of love. How can he comprehend the pain and suffering to be half? Life was perhaps a despot to preserve an egoism. His envy generated several idiosyncrasies. Like a bulldozer, his wit was concocted of a void. Lessons of compassion would change his perspectives in life. He, who was never unleashed his feelings for a congeneric reservation of attractions and greetings, cannot perceive the pain and misery, cannot cradle love and its quivery. That was my first poem. The second poem I want to deal is with ego and misunderstandings, which is prevailing in nook and corner of a society. Perhaps we are not able to filter it, but when it is impactful in our own lives, then only we realize. The title, uh, sorry, before I begin, I would like to mention that this poem uh, was written with a collaboration with a Nigerian poet whose name is Mr. Sir S.T. Goodhead. So this was my collaboration with him. The title we have given is Ego and Misunderstanding Skills a Relationship. Providence of sincere amalgamation of virtues in a jokun celebrating a mature relationship with zest. Life cradles love and trust with a conformity where understanding each other is a primary necessity. Bantering, chuckles, and fidelity perhaps enhances a spirit to entangle in a strong relationship. Yeah, distorting the euphoria of serenity and bliss with that master of rage engaged with an unchecked ego, our pleasant sets and subsets tend to imprison the ease that sprinkles crystallized sprays of flaming rigor. But when we fan beyond proportion, it becomes subtle and it breeds mis misunderstandings of the terms of cordiality. They kill relationships so fast, like the bullets in a pistol. Oh, that these beasts be kept off from the zoo of every humanity. In a vanloquence, arguments leads to debates and conflicts. The parasite of misunderstandings hover around the nest. Our peaceful life is propitiated over egoism, and the soul is tormented in a vagary. Arguments after arguments over suspicion discombobulate and agitates the mind in an umbrage. Lack of understanding, respect, and trust 
perhaps never commiserates in a battle. This is a nightmare of masquerading weariness, an elongation of mannerless designs in display, floods of intentions and inordinate haughtiness, branding quarrels, animosity, and vainly play, walking with proud looks and high-minded alterations. Too heavy and Mephistophelian to say, I am sorry, relationships wrinkle and cripple for lack of true affections. Ego and misunderstanding steal the joy and breed worry. Thank you so much. Oh, this are uh, beautiful uh, themes that you have picked up and you know presented it so well. It's with a beautiful lines of yours. Uh, Thank you, sir. Pleasure is mine. Uh, perspective, you know, could just look into that you know aspect and you know, and the first and the second as well. Uh, that's so beautiful. That was Samjata Mitra, my dear friends. Please welcome our next poet and please give a round of applause. Of course, yes. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is, yes, we have a couple of poets, beautiful poets, Santosh Til and uh, some other, yes. But before that, uh, please welcome Dr. Uh, Gargisha. Gargi. Gargisha, yeah. Gargisaha. Yes. Ma'am, please unmute your mic. Gargi Shah. Gargi Shah. Dr. Gargi Shah. Doc, uh, Dr. Gargi Shah. Yes. Yeah. yes, sir. Yes, please. Good evening, sir. Thank you for inviting me in this platform of esteemed poets. Today, I would like to present two poems. The first one is Bindles. Round and round, big and small, shiny, sparkling, glossy, motley, marvelous designed. It's ready to be worn by maiden and woman. So pretty are those bangles. Round and round, they revolve, hand in the center and revolve around at dawn and dusk. They revolve in different seasons, climates, and how beautifully adorn a woman's hand. I wonder at the artifacts embedded in the slender curves of the bangles. Each dot lines appear perfect. What craftsmanship in those brave bangles who clatter together in unison to sing, dance, and rejoice in the galaxy of arts. Round and round they form circles, a rainbow on the hand, glittering in golden circles. How I adore those pretty bangles that beautify a woman's hand. That is the first one. And the second one is consigns. Someone is watching my anger wrought vengeance. Let's be calm, composed. Someone is watching dishonesty. Let's be honest, truthful, crystal clear. Someone is watching disorder, disregard, irresponsible. Let's be disciplined, respectful, responsible. Someone is watching pride, ego, hostility, eccentricity. Let's be humble, friendly, selfless. Always conscious speaks into self for the wrong done to others and cannot be at peace. It keeps monitoring always the do's and don'ts, right and wrong. How chained man is to his conscience. Fortunate man is to belong to mankind. Let's embrace humanity and not be a wolf in the sheep's clothing. Thank you. This plan clear writing. As always, you know, take you also have the tendency and proclivity of picking, you know, small themes and you know, kind of you know, day to day themes and putting it in, you know, your words in a small ways is so beautifully. I like your reading too. Thank you, thank you, Gargi, ma'am, Gargi Sahab. That was round. Please give a round of applause, my dear friends. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Please welcome our next poet. Our next poet, of course, is yes, Til Kumari Sharma. Please welcome Til Kumari Sharma. Okay, thank you. Namaste, Kumar uh, Parsanaji and their friends uh, who listen my poems. And uh, it is a great opportunity to all of us by Parsanaji. So great uh, respect and honor to you. And I am going to recite two poems about love. Okay, first one is planting love. Love is a seed of humanity. It is planted by kindness, 
humanity and morality are jewels. On human race is born, height of love builds universe. The love has invited peace. Love is magic of life. It builds the civilized universe. It is harmony of heart. Love is medicine of fertility. Love is jewel of humanity. It plants the human community. Okay, another one is love is the future seed. Future is future due to human growth. It is blooming in earth, a gain of heredity, its beauty of flowering, the nurture and cure in love. Live is the mystery. Love is the mystery to live. It is a myth of true love. So love is green seed, planting seed of human race. Love is destiny designer. Love is destiny designer. Okay, thank you very much. Love is all about. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, that was still Kumari Sharma. Please give, give a round of applause and please welcome our next poet. Our next poet is, yes, Mili Das. Please welcome Mili Das. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, ma'am. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Good evening to all of you. Now, as well as I am beside the road, my poem is, the title of the poem is Spreading My Wings. In the far darkness, I have lost everything. All the me I painted on the canvas fade away from my life. I go far and far. I walk into the deep darkness. The flame of the lamp put out. In the drenched rainy gloominess, I also walk with the departed sound. My mind gently moved to the golden rice fields. Dreams come to my eyes like waterfalls. Fresh teenage desires arise in the mind. I untied my hair, walk along the path. I am swimming in the sun shining lake. My veil is flying like flower petals. In the sound of dew, I can hear a mysterious call. In the twilight afternoon, I'm singing Raga. The buds of youth are blooming all over me. Today I want to be more dependent, more independent without any restraint. In the infinite sky, I'm spreading my wings as I wish. Thank you so much. Beautiful, ma'am. Beautiful. A, no? uh, if, lovely read. Yeah. If uh, there will be time. Please, please. Uh, I want to go my next Bengali poem. Wait. Lodja. The poem is about the uh, artists who are the art of the uh, uh, artist. भास्कर जो शिल्पी है ना उसका जो आर्ट है ना जो महिला लोगों को देखकर वो लोग पेंटिंग करते हैं ये कहानी कहानी उस टाइप के लेडी के लिए जो उसका जीवन दे दिया लज्जा कोन एक बंदी शाला या बुद्ध हुए निष्पेशित और रीदाय मृत्युर पाथे प्राण भिक्षा आवेदन रखी पाथुरे दुआने धक्का दुआई माटी ते आज से पड़ी समस्त अनाप्रित शरीर देखिए चितकार करे बोली मुक्ति दाव मुक्ति दाव आमाई मुक्ति दाव अमार पोशाक भीजे जावा अस्तान आतुर घरे छुट्टु शिशुर शंपुति प्रेमी केर मातो हाथों भाम बोए पृथ्वी अमार आर्तो नाच शुने स्थिर दृष्टि ते चे� उन्मुक्त शरीर भाज गीले खेते प्रत्यक्ष दृष्टि फेला चिकचिक भास्कर चोख चिबुक बे पाथुरे मटीते गड़िए पड़े दुखर अश्रुबिंदु हमार नीटल वृत्त सूर्यालोक आलना पोछनो नाभिस्तम्भ कम्पित रक्त पद्मस्थ चिकन कटी देश मध्यभाग लक्ष्य कर चले प्रशस्त प्रांगण और हमार क्रंदन ध्वनि निष्प्राण पाथुरे देवाले 
quite you know evocative kind of you know uh, uh, beautiful i mean it's like i don't know what sign that was really thus please welcome uh, please uh, give a round of applause my dear friends thank uh, you thank you so much uh, please welcome our next poet our next poet is a wonderful human being and he is uh, yes he is a what do you call polyglot i would say he writes in several languages he heard you know the fluency of languages as well he is an engineering engineer by profession but yes he is a poet at heart please welcome santosh kumar pokheral hello very good evening from kathmandu so the mood is not very good as the war is ongoing and uh, none of the side is ready to halt it and the people are dying innocent uh, children are dying i mean the ongoing war between israel and hamas is a pity of course and uh, the children are in no way to blame and uh, they are being killed they are being killed first Hamas started killing, abducting children and uh, beheading. And now Israel is bombing on Gaza. So it's, it's a very tragic scenario in the world. And uh, uh, looming over is uh, uh, probably the World War III. So forgive, God forgive this. So we should not encounter any world war because humanity is not going to be lost and the human civilization. So these days I have been continuously, regularly contributing my poems to this war. So very fresh poems I will read out uh, now. One in Hindi and another in English. Please allow me to read out my poems. The first in Hindi. Meri kavita ka shirshak hai. फूला नहीं समाता ये उन लोगों को समर्पित है जो इजराइल और हमास के बीच जो युद्ध हो रहा है उसमें मारे गए लोग रो रहे थे और मैं भी तो रो रहा था भला रो लेने से मेरा क्या जाता जाने की बात ही तो है जाने दो उन्हें शायद यहाँ कुछ भी नहीं है भाता और मानो भा भी गया हो तो भी वह कैसे ले जा पाता लोग रो रहे थे और मैं भी तो रो रहा था भला रो लेने से मेरा क्या जाता जाने की बात ही तो है जाने दो उन्हें शायद यहाँ कुछ भी नहीं है भाता और मानो भा भी गया हो तो भी वह कैसे ले जा पाता मरने वाले सीना तान कर मर रहे हैं मरने वाले सीना तान कर मर रहे हैं उनका मातम मनाओ मना लेने से कोई वापस नहीं आ जाता यही सोचकर मैं कभी कभी मुस्कुराता लोगों की समझ में यही तो नहीं आता लोगों की समझ में यही तो नहीं आता अगर यह उनके जहन में बस जाता तो मैं फूला नहीं समाता मैं फूला नहीं समाता 
Thank you for listening my Hindi poem dedicated to the war victims. The next and last poem, Woe and the Flawless Children. This poem is solely dedicated to the war victim children who were nowhere to blame. They were flawless. The war was vomiting out a terrifying puff of smoke on the field of death. Houses were destroyed and turned into debris heaps. The children were standing on those heaps and trembling with fear. The fear over the children's hearts tear. The war was vomiting out a terrifying puff of smoke on the field of death. Houses were destroyed and turned into debris heaps. The children were standing on those heaps and trembling with fear. The fear would the children's hearts tear at that moment. At that moment, a beautiful ship did appear in the sky. The ship was coming gradually nigh. And the children looked up at that beautiful ship with long shy. The children were standing on those heaps with trembling, with fear. The fear would the children's hearts tear. At that moment, the beautiful ship, a beautiful ship did appear in the sky. The ship was coming gradually nigh. And the children looked up at that beautiful ship with a long sigh. The ship came down a bit. The ship came down a bit. The bombs fell off it. The sight was impossible to miss. And what happened? And what happened? There was no child left to say this. The ship came down a bit. The bomb fell off it. The sight was impossible to miss. And what happened? There was no child left to say this. Don't ask me about war. Don't ask me about war. For wars, human life is but at the value of a bullet. Bullets that shoot people to death. Since war is more than a killing spree. It's a heinous crime in human history. So I forbid wars in my poetry. Don't ask me about war. For wars, human life is but a value of a bullet. Bullets that shoot people to death. Since war is more than a killing spree. It's a heinous crime in human history. So I forbade woes in my poetry. I looked for traces of children I would adore to plant fragrant flowers of peace for the world not to start woes anymore. May these woes forever cease. May these woes forever cease. I pray for all the deceased. But now, there were no children on the spots left. I was seeking to find some forlorn and bereft. Alas, all had perished. Alas, all had perished. Thank you. Thank you. No to war. No to war give peace a chance in the world and stop this folly. This folly, killing people is not a solution. Killing people is not a solution. Not a solution. For the peace, for the peace, for solidarity with the deceased, for the, with the prayers of their uh, resting in eternal peace of the deceased who were innocent especially the women and children. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, peace, help, help peace, and think of others. And that is what, you know, 
even the the homeland and everywhere it's like you know I just we could just talk about or they could just listen and you know voice about so please welcome our next poet our next poet is uh, uh, Jahangir Alam Rustam, but before that, please give a round of applause to Santosh Kumar Pokhara. Greetings from Bangladesh. Uh, my special thanks to Prashanna uh, for inviting me in this beautiful reciting program. Uh, today, I will recite two poems. Uh, from two different books. First one is from uh, Dream of Love. The name of the poem, Music of Dawn. The flowers bloom and dance in the lap of cool earth. At the time, music of dawn sings and get bars. In set time, birds start and salute the multicolored light. Birds sing with a musical tune and welcome the morning bright. The sun appears soon with its charming grace. Intoxicated in safe seeing, they are often in a maze. But a heavenly glow invites the dawn. Earth becomes blissful to get her morning crown. A gentleman turns into a flower in the dazzling glow. Aurora invites the buzzing insects for dancing below. The wind changes into a palmy breeze to join the celebration as some fairies come down to celebrate the official. The earth changes into a bright, the colorful light dances in full rhythm as the morning dawn sings turn into a glitzy groom. Thank you. And second one from my another book, uh, The Glory of Love. The name of the poem, At First Sight. You bloom in my mind and disperse fragrance. At first sight, I capture your mind at a glass. I blossom in your sweet soul. When you fall in love with me, a blooming flower on your face, often it glitters and I am in glee. I will sing through your tune and fly through your wings. I dance through your shadow when your ankle rings. I lost myself in your fantasy. You are so beautiful. Passing the whole rainy night with you, I find you so bountiful. Your beautiful face reminds me the full moon's gleam. We are enjoying celestial happiness in a two members team. Your Appearance always dances in my mind when I am in a dream, humming on earth songs. You glitter through a celestial moonbeam. Thank you. Beautiful, sir, as always, you know, bring you those, you know, love spirit, you know, smooth, a kind of thing. You know, this is what we always uh, wish to have, wish to listen into the moments and the hours before we witness and we came to know this, you know, the God's own country is considered to be in the Kerala, we rocked with the explosions in the, you know, in the Kalamashiri area, of, you know, just like minor kind of, and, uh, you know, it is strange that, you know, uh, years back we used to stay there and, uh, and you know, it's like it is considered to be peace uh, state, but it's some, you know, this kind of thing, things happening. Uh, at this very moment, uh, I would like to uh, call upon Bizu Prince, who is Aka Isaac Cohen. But before that, Dr. Jahangir Alam Rastam, please give a round of applause for his poems that he presented. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for coming. We love Welcome. to have you always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Isaac Cohen. Please. Uh, we have uh, one more poet left. Uh, uh, big, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, Ambassador Priyanka yes. Yogi. We have that. Isaac Cohen, please, Isaac. Yes. Isaac, please turn on your mic. Uh, 
are you listening to me no no please isaac first isaac then uh, how better you can use okay isaac please turn on your mic dear kumar and dear uh, friends uh, the time is so sad uh, yesterday in uh, friday the the rocket uh, fell near my own uh, it's uh, so sad i the coin the old the silence noise reach to the baby what will he do he will shut all the voices of war mother earth will play trivia with all Creation. Hallelujah. Okay. That's fine. I saw. Hey, I the coin. Ode to my Indian friends. How much happiness, happiness is in the eyes of the Indian people that made a red carpet for me when I come to share culture with them. Thank you, Isaac Cohen, Israel. Thank you. And uh, I hope that uh, the peace will come soon. And I, uh, I was happy and I will be happy. Everybody thanks. is wishing for the same, Isaac, and thanks for, you know, Ryan, and please take care of yourself and, uh, you know, uh, you know, get yeah. good rest. Yeah. That thanks. was Isaac uh, from Israel. Please welcome our next poet, our last poet, uh, Ambassador Priyanka Niyogi from Bengal. Please. Very good evening to all of you. Now I am going to my one poem, Bengali poem, Chobul. Rachunai Priyanka Niyogi. Chobul bolte budhi kam agboshi bish khani. Shei bishi hote pare pran ras. ভয়ে থাকি কখন যেন কোন বিষধর দিল বুঝি কামড়ে হতে পারে এই বুঝি দুর্ঘটনা ঘটল পরাণ বুঝি গেল বিষধরের কামড়ে চিনে রাখাও তারে সাথে সাথে ডাক্তারের কাছে যাও চিকিৎসা নিয়ে সুস্থ হও জীবনে ছবুল সবই হিংসার অসুখ চলার মাঝে গড়ার সাজে আসে অনেকে বাধা দিতে চুপ যত করে থাকা যায় অত্যাচারীদের আক্রমণ বাড়ে সেভাবে শক্ত হয়ে দাঁড়াতে হবে দেয়ালে পীর থেকে গেলে অত্যাচারী কি ছবুল দিয়ে শিক্ষা দিতে হবে থ্যাংক ইউ Beautiful, ma'am. Beautiful. I like the way you read. Uh, thank you. That was that was Priyanka Niyagi, my dear friends. Please give a round of applause. And that is that brings us 
to the end of this uh, uh, poetry reading uh, <laughs> the series maybe uh, you will catch up with uh, you know new poets or maybe at the same time next week and so please uh, uh, let me remind you all we have we're having tomorrow i mean that is on monday and indian standard times 5 pm manushatram at in hyderabad vayaburi uh, recreation recreation center as we holding a, a few poets that are rupali ma'am and dr you know the poem as well so uh, we wish i wish you, you all were here you are how so you and let's we we'll do one well. online i think <laughs> <laughs> thank you mili ma'am you, you might have i know this so, so thank that, you so much thank you my dear friends i am sharing the link of this by, by reading you could just share with the others too you could just and i'll put the video youtube video too thank you thank you see you on next thank time. you so much present thank you thank you oh,